Hi guys. So today I am going to show you six simple projects that you can do at home. So the first thing is a metal detector. So this can detect metals. So now let's see how this works. Q1 and Q2, basically transistor 1 and transistor 2 will be oscillating together. Because no metal is in the coil presently, the oscillating current will trigger Q1 to keep Q2 on. But when a metal comes close and the coil readings change, Q, uh, Q2 will turn off, triggering Q3 to turn the buzzer and the LED on. So that's the basics. So we will be powering this, th that with a 9 volt battery. So here we go. It's connected. There is no metal. So now let's see if this works. Here I have a metal plier. Let's bring it close. So it can detect it. So next let me take my hand. Nope. And if you want even more proof the battery. It's metal. Oh, um, I have a water bottle here and to prove it again, it only detects metal. So proving it one more time, metal detects. Non-metal, nope. So, that concludes this project and let's skip right on to the next one. So this is a shadow alarm. Meaning, if there is no light, so, what happens is, there is this potentiometer which supplies the LDR or light dependent resistor which sends its signal to a processor which inverts the signal and a few, a few more steps later it gets to the LED and the buzzer. So if, the L, if there is no light they will turn off. If there is light they are off. So, let me show you it again. Light, no light. Light, no light. Light, no light. Okay, so that concludes this one. And let's move on right to the next. Don't be afraid when you see this complicated mess of transistors, resistors, diodes, LEDs and one microphone. Oh yeah, can't forget the capacitors. So, what is this? As the name suggests, it's a clap switch. Basically, the mic sends its data to one, transi uh, one transistor which amplifies the signal and it gets resisted down by quite a few resistors and the rest is a flip-flop and an LED driver. So that's the basics. Basically when the microphone receives a volume higher than what it considers to be a clap, the LEDs turn on, else off. So let's see it in action. So I am powering this one. The LED turns on and as you can see the lights have turned on meaning 
it detected my clap and to show it again first and plug it so to show it again here's it all reset see it turned on for more proof I'm gonna do it once again here you go I clapped the mic detected it the transistors did its thing now the LEDs are on indicating it heard a clap so so here's one more try here you go clapped detected lights on so that is this product now let's move right on to the next one so this is a mini traffic signal if you will basically a 555 timer sends a square wave signal so the 555 timer emits a square wave signal similar to this so this signal is fed into this decimal counter which counts this and turns one LED on at a time so it's like red yellow green again red yellow green and it keeps on repeating and repeating and repeating until the battery is dead so that's what we are going to see today okay, so let's give it a try shall we connecting red yellow green goes back red yellow green again red yellow green again red yellow and green red yellow and green okay so let's see it one more time and let's go on to the next one okay so that is that and let's move on right on to the next one I genuinely don't think we can get simpler than this but yes this is a disco light so this is really simple there are two transistors these two will flip each other creating what's called a flip-flop not the flip-flops you wear just in case you get confused they use the capacitors and resistors so how this works is this transistor when it's on it supplies power to this this transistor's gate and so it turns on but then this transistor doesn't get any power so it turns off but then when this has power it sends a signal to its base so it turns on it doesn't have power the cycle keeps repeating so you might have wondered if this happened really fast they both would have just gone still but instead it goes tick tock tick tock why is that basically the capacitors and resistors over here slow down the signal sent so that this happens beautiful right so if you notice carefully let's take these two for example if this is q1 and this is q2 or transistor 1 and transistor 2 it's like on a flip flop flip flop flip flop flip flop that is the transistor switching so the reason it's slow is because of the resistors capacitors 
and yeah that's it so yep since because of its simplicity we can use it in decorative lighting lighting <laughs> overall and the time which it takes to switch it on and off is called the duty cycle and if we can tweak the duty cycle a bit here and there we can make a literal disco ball out of this cool right so let's move on to the last and final project so this is our final project so here we can see a container about with electrodes and a battery connected to this circuit so as you may have understood it's a water level indicator and have some water so let me open the cap so this is the positive electrode so as you can see here the first led is on and when you look the first one is here so let's fill it up to the second one and see what happens okay okay now let's as you can see both the leds are on and when we check here it's fill till two points so now let's add a bit more water so now as you can see all the three lights are on and Let's pour a bit more. So as you can see, the buzzer is beeping and if we check over here, all the way through. So this is the end of it. So yeah, let me disconnect the battery and all. There are so many different unique useful products for us to experiment with in our free time. So this is just six of the ones I know. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.